Back here at 713, you know, Kelly, they say you are what you eat. <laughs> and new research shows many of us are already addicted to processed foods like ice cream, pizza, salty chips, and that can lead to all sorts of health problems. Yeah, well, Boston 25 News anchor Vanessa Welch took a closer look at the data and found nearly half of the adults tested showed at least one sign of addiction to processed foods. Most of them were women. Hamburgers, ice cream, soda, and energy drinks, all highly processed foods. And researchers say highly addictive, too. I'd call it a craving. Boston 25 consumer advisor Clark Howard is an admitted processed food lover. This tastes great to me. Clark says he changed his diet after a cancer scare. And then I had to learn there were food groups that were really good that were green. He cut down on processed foods and lost 50 pounds. But like a lot of Americans says, it's hard to kick the cravings. And there's a medical reason for that. Researchers say dopamine in your brain starts pumping even before that first bite triggered just from the smell or even a fast food logo. It really spikes the reward and motivation systems of the brain in a way that truly mimics what we see with ethanol, like in alcoholic beverages, or with nicotine, like in cigarettes. And that's by design, according to a new national poll on healthy aging by the University of Michigan. Big Tobacco was the biggest producer and marketer of processed food in the world. So it really is the same playbook, um, just with a new substance. And just like cigarettes, researchers found processed foods can lead to all sorts of illnesses, like diabetes, heart disease, even cancer. The study randomly surveyed 2,163 people between 50 and 80 years old and found 13 percent met the criteria for addiction with at least two symptoms, like intense cravings, the inability to cut down, and signs of withdrawal. Double the women met that criteria compared to men, and women between 50 and 64 years old had it the worst. Clearly, people aren't going to jail, you know, breaking in uh, to get their milkshake fix. They're not dying of an overdose. But about 300,000 people a year are dying from preventable disease. And scientists say the earlier you start eating processed food, the stronger the addiction. We see that over half of children's calorie intake in the United States is from these low nutritional value, but highly intensely rewarding, you know, highly processed foods. Because so many people are addicted to processed foods, researchers want doctors to start screening for it with the same questions used in this study. As for what to do if you're struggling, doctors recommend nutritional counseling to help manage the addiction. Vanessa Welch for your local station, Boston 25 News.